Minnesota Duluth is one exception. In the previous five years, the Bulldogs are 11 8 0 against Brad Berry's North Dakota Fighting Hawks. Turnover here inside the zone. A good chance on the wraparound. His accounts here in the first four plus games of the season gets wiped out though by Matt Carnes, the Cornell transfer out of Mississauga, Ontario. Oh, that puck squeezes through and crosses the goal line. The jocks just get this puck. He's going to just try to get this thing on net. Shield, that one just squeaks through. He probably wants that one back, but good things happen. He uses the defender, uh, Bernard Docker, potentially as a screen there. Kane back on it. Nice find. Cooper Moore! Great move by the freshman demon, but a better stop by Fancy. The follow up blocked away as well. Reese Gaber now skating in and finding the back of the net. The freshman strikes for the third time here in the pod. And we are all knotted up at one apiece. Up to Pinto with the lane in front. Shane Pinto, the toe drag to Kawaguchi. Somehow that did not go in. Yeah, that one. Shane Pinto makes that play, puts it like you said, Alex, right on a platter. First time they've been paired together. Pinto and Gaber now joined with Kawaguchi as Kepke comes for For a great stick by Ethan Frisch. I think that's one area. You see the stretch pass right up the seam. It's a great look, but a better stick. Yeah, a clean win, but a good job by Swaney. Just anticipating that off the faceoff dot. The circle. Matt Kierstead, one time from Pinto! Power play goal for Shane Pinto! And it is 2-1 North Dakota! Another power play strike for number one! Affiliations right now to make things work. North Dakota, of course, in the West as that chance falls! And a score here! Cole Kepke with the answer! seen this time and time again. It's a bouncing puck that Cole Kepke just almost like he's golfing with the pitching wedge there. He's able to elevate this one, just chip it over to the left shoulder of Adam Shield. Goes far down. A lot of snow over there in the corner. Sweeney, Kepke fresh on, shot high. 12 seconds to go. Loose puck to the right of Shield. Back to Kepke. Nice poke check by Bernard Docker. Five seconds left. One more chance for the Bulldogs. Kepke blocked away by JBD. Oh, the <laughs> shot right at the buzzer. Shield had to be ready. So this is something, no doubt, that they've practiced. And I'm not surprised. The first shooter you're going to see is Kobe Roth, the War of Minnesota native. who's at the hot stick here in this pod. Here is Kobe Roth now. To the backhand and high. Kawaguchi. We'll have the puck on his stick here. Kawaguchi, what a move, but cannot find a way past Fancy. And we remain level, so two shooters down, neither successful. Noah Cates now. The Bulldogs' captain's turn, another stop by Scheel. Now he scored in a breakaway. Earlier in the pod, similar situation here for Gaber, Fanti, the poke check, and the freshman does not get the shot away. That's back old school goaltending. So 0 for 2, now it essentially does become one man to beat, and it's Sweeney, and Nick Sweeney fires home. Do or die now for North Dakota. Bulldogs with one on the board, courtesy of Sweeney. Shane Pinto's gonna get the call for UND. Here comes the sophomore. Pinto, stopped by Fancy, and the Bulldogs record the extra point tonight. Ryan Fancy stopping all three North Dakota shootout attempts. It ends as a draw officially, but the Bulldogs will take home the extra points in the NCHC standings.